everyone and thank you for watching this video. So I have five amazing articles to suggest this week. As usual, I want to start this video with an old interview. In this opportunity, we have Stephen Hawking, back in 2016, talking about AI. So check it out. Stephen, when we last spoke six years ago, you said that mankind was in danger of destroying ourselves by our greed and stupidity. Have things gotten better or worse since then? We certainly have not become less greedy or less stupid. You've been warning people about the dangers of artificial intelligence. How, how seriously are governments taking this warning? Governments seem to be engaged in an AI arms race, designing planes and weapons with intelligent technologies. The funding for projects directly beneficial to the human race, such as improved medical screening, seems a somewhat lower priority. With that said, let's get into our first article. This one suggested by someone online. And it's about those images about militaries using Microsoft HoloLens 2 for combat. Microsoft won a $488 million contract to supply the US military with HoloLens. The tech company was able to fulfill his order with a modified headset that will allow soldiers to identify friendly and enemy forces and aim their weapons without directly seeing the enemy. More abilities such as facial recognition might be eventually rolled out into the system. This news generated a lot of controversy. I would like to know what you guys think about this. Just leave your thoughts in the comment area. For the next article available on the New Scientist, the US Navy is developing robot submarines controlled by artificial intelligence that could be given the power to kill without any human input. The killer submersible has been named Klaus. The autonomous submarines already exist and they can complete tasks, but they aren't very intelligent and have limited functionality. Klaus was first revealed in 2018. While little is known about Klaus, more information is available on the Orca submarines that could house it. As Stephen Hawking said, humans certainly have not become less greedy or less stupid. The following article is about Robo Revenge, and no, I am not talking about Robo versus Human, but Robo Lawyers versus Robo Colors. This article available on The Verge explains a new service provided by the startup Do Not Take. How does this Robo Revenge work? First, the service puts your number on the Do Not Call registry. Then, when you receive a call, the scammer's contact info is collected and Do Not Pay will use it to automatically generate demand letters and court filling documents to help you sue the spammer. Do Not Pay say that Robo Lawyer helps you sue anyone via the app. I have a lot of questions about it. Anyways, the service is now live in their website and through their app. Nowadays, every cell phone has an AI virtual assistant built into it. It keeps track of your schedule, finds songs for you, to the point that life would be inconvenient without them. What you're saying is true, but doesn't AI have limitations? Sometimes they can't understand you. I don't mind that as much as not being able to see its face. I don't feel its presence. Sometimes it's like talking into a void. Magic Mirror recently released a video of a humanoid AI. Did you see it? It's been getting a lot of attention on YouTube. Investors, I know that all of you are here today because you want to know what our company has been working on. Since we were the first ones to develop an AI that passed the Turing test. How do you feel after having seen Geolab's latest product? Here's the world's first personal hologram AI. Holo. So this is my recommended series of the week. Even though the 
the name is too girly, the content is amazing. Hollow My Love shows what a hologram that behaves like a human can do with access to all the systems. And what could happen with someone using this hologram for the wrong reasons. Also, can we have feelings for a hologram? Thanks everyone, I will be back next week with another video with recommended articles.